Runtime Architecture of Spark Application In this video, I am going to explain about the runtime architecture of Spark application. By the end of this video, you will know the internal details of how a Spark application runs. Apache Spark uses master-slave architecture. The client submits a Spark user application code. When an application code is submitted, the driver implicitly converts user code containing transformations and actions to logical directed acyclic graph, DAG. At this stage, it also performs optimizations, such as pipelining transformations. Then it converts the logical graph, DAG, into physical execution plan with sets of stages. After converting into physical execution plan, it creates physical execution units called tasks under each stage. Then the tasks are bundled to be sent to the cluster. Now, the driver talks to cluster manager and negotiates for resources. Cluster manager launches executors in worker nodes on behalf of the driver. At this point, the driver will send the tasks to the executors based on data placement. When executors start, they register themselves with the driver, so driver will have complete view of all executors. Executors start executing the tasks assigned by the driver program. At any point of time, when the application is running, driver program will monitor the set of executors that runs. Driver will also schedule future tasks in appropriate location based on data placement. The user program may cache data in certain locations using cache method or persist method. Driver tracks the location of cache data and uses it to schedule future tasks that access that data. Driver exposes information about the running Spark application through a web UI at port 4040. So, if you are running the application in localhost, the web UI link will be http colon slash slash localhost 4040. When driver's main method exists or when it calls Spark context stopped method, it will terminate the executors and release resources from cluster manager. In this video, we saw the runtime architecture of Spark application and how a Spark application runs when a job is submitted. In the next video, we will learn about RDD, which is the Spark's core system.